everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about cholesterol. But first we need to define a couple of things. So what is LDL cholesterol? LDL cholesterol is what your body is actually mostly made of. HDL cholesterol is actually cholesterol that your body uses to carry cholesterol out of your veins and arteries back to your liver. I know there's a lot of cholesterols in that one thing, but that's what HDL cholesterol actually does. And triglycerides are the most common type of fat in your body. So your body actually makes 80% of the cholesterol that you have in your body right now. Only 20% of that cholesterol actually comes from the food that you eat. And cholesterol plays a huge part in the building block of life. And you have over 30 trillion cells in your body. And all these cells have a cell membrane. And 30% of that cell membrane is cholesterol. And without the proper level of cholesterol in your body, your cells can't function properly. Your body actually also uses cholesterol as bondo or spackle. So inside your veins and blood vessels, if they're damaged and need to be repaired, your body actually uses cholesterol to do that. And that's what makes up plaque. What actually damages these blood vessels and veins is a highly inflammatory, high carb diet. And cholesterol is actually used to make essential hormones and vitamins. So a couple hormone examples would be testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, and cortisol. And your body also needs cholesterol to make vitamin D. And believe it or not, your gallbladder actually needs cholesterol to make bile. So if cholesterol was actually so bad for us, bile would actually release the cholesterol into our small intestines and then we'd poop it out. And without cholesterol and bile, you actually can't absorb vitamin A, D, E, and K. So having a low LDL level is actually very dangerous. So you actually increase your risk of dying if your LDL level is lower than 120 milligrams per deciliter. So the recommended LDL level is between 120 and 240 milligrams per deciliter. So next, let's talk about high triglycerides. So high triglycerides actually come from what you eat and drink. So a triglyceride level of higher than 150 milligrams per deciliter actually increases your risk of heart attack, heart disease, and stroke. Eating fat doesn't increase your triglyceride levels. What actually does is eating too many carbs. So what you wanna do is you wanna eliminate any high sugar foods such as fruits and sugary vegetables. And you wanna try limiting your carbs to 100 grams a day. And with lowering that sugar intake, you also wanna make sure you're lowering that fructose and sucrose level, which includes not drinking fruit juices. Actually, you wanna replace those carbs that you're eating with healthy fats such as bacon grease, beef towel, and butter. So there are many reasons why you should eat a low carb diet such as keto or a no carb diet such as the carnivore diet. And your cholesterol is actually one of those reasons. And surprisingly, you don't need medications to lower your cholesterol levels. You actually just need to eat a proper human diet and you can avoid taking those statins which are really bad for you. And like always, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon.